Well, the 2021 growing season is in the books. So let's take a look at how the past year shaped up. The season got off to a relatively good start, with timely planting in most areas compared to some of the challenges that we faced the past couple of seasons. As we got into the summer, though, various stresses started to have an impact. Corn rootworm pressure was high in much of the corn belt, likely due to soil conditions that were favorable for winter survival and spring hatch. Foliar diseases were also an issue, with southern rust continuing its recent trend of pushing further north, and a widespread outbreak of tar spot showing that this disease is definitely here to stay. Ultimately, corn yields were generally pretty good where there was enough rain to keep the crop going, with yields in much of the eastern U.S. up over 2020, while hot and dry conditions took a toll in the northern corn belt. Soybean yields followed similar trends with generally good yields east of the Mississippi and yields that were flattened down in many states west of the river. Overall, corn and soybean yields continued their trend of year-over-year -year improvement, a trend that has seen corn yields increase by about two bushels per acre per year and soybean yields by about a half bushel. Those gains have been and continue to be driven by improvements in both crop genetics and agronomic management. Pioneer agronomy research is focused not only on driving top-line yield potential, but also on creating resilient management systems that protect yield against an ever-evolving array of stress factors. Check out the link for more details.